Hi, on today's video, we are taking you on an adventure in Sanaru, Lombok, a town sitting at the base of Mount Rinjani, one of the most beautiful mountains in Indonesia. We really got a full day packed with adventure, so stick to the end of this video for a full itinerary of what we discovered, from the rich culture and nature to the local life and the food. So, let's get to it. So last night we stopped by this place called the Dragonfly Lodge. Got this really nice little room for only like 140k. And in the morning we've woken up to this incredible view of Mount Rinjani. Yeah. So we are starting today in the Senaru village. Starting the day off with going to two of the main waterfalls in this area. And then afterwards we're going to go to the Bayan village. Stay tuned to learn more about the culture here in Senaru and Lombok. Where we're going now, that is also where the big earthquake took place. In 2018, a destructive earthquake of 6.9 magnitude struck Lombok. The earthquake triggered landslides, causing a lot of tourists and locals to get trapped around the Thiukelep waterfall, the one we are hiking to. It also caused the whole waterfall area to be blocked. For some years, the locals worked together and raised a lot of funds to help the victims as well as sustaining the area like building pathways of rocks and steel nets, making the beautiful waterfalls accessible again. It's climbing time. amazing it was so grand and it was so strong and you could just stand in front of the waterfall and feel the fresh strong mist on your face and just close your eyes and take it all in it's the best feeling We are now nearing the Sendangile waterfall and I'm seeing it right here. That's really high. <laughs> come here with an empty stomach there's a lot of things sold here drinks food everything you can find I like this one right here hello boo ah! boleh sini <laughs> lagi masak apa bu lagi masak bawang ah oh, that's bawang yeah so yeah that looks really good empat sama tiga tempe satu bawang yeah empat lima ribu that's five thousand for four different kinds of gorengan like all the good stuff right next to the waterfall Yum. Mm -mm -mm. For the rest of the journey, we joined Wika, our friend at the Firefly Lodge, to see the rest of Sanaru. My name is Wika. Yeah, we'll be take you to the best place in Sanaru and Bayan Village. Nice. Check it out. <laughs> check it out. <laughs> Desa wisata Senaru spesial untuk uh, custom and culture. Jadi icon lah untuk desa Senaru nya. The oldest village of this island stands since the 13th century, unchanging until now. They built their homes in such a way that would keep them safe from natural disasters like earthquakes. We learned a lot from their marriage traditions, circumcision rituals, how their house system works, as well as how events and hangouts are held which is still the same as it were when the village was first founded. We are about to see the first mosque in Lombok and it's made it's still made of bamboo. And we are also going to talk to the chief of the village, which will be super interesting. I am excited to learn more about the culture here. Aku Patrick. Pardon? Patrick. Patrick, yes. my name is Gedarip. Gedarip. Pade Gudarip, the village chief, is known as the leader of customs here. He's also helped conduct a lot of research in Indonesia and internationally and is now a manku and farmer who constantly promotes tolerance and educate tourists as well as the people of Bayan. Itu yang kita harapkan jadi budaya ini karena seperti ada passion kepada semua orang ya. Semua agama tidak harus muslim saja ya. Kristian, Hindu, Islam, yang penting 
Itu keindahannya Indonesia ini ada Pancasila ya, Bineka Tunggal Ika di 30, tidak perlu jealous. Terus selalu saya memberikan masukan tentang arti, makna custom ini, begini tujuannya ya. Kalau kita bersahabat, begini manfaatnya dan sebagainya, selalu, selalu begitu. The community in Bayan is working to develop education, as well as increase accessibility and infrastructure of the village, all while upholding the culture and sanctity of their customs that is Muslim and religious, but also very tradition and culture based. And that is very beautiful. Sekarang kita berada di Masjid Kuno Bayan Beli Ini adalah masjid tertua di Lombok Pertama kali penyebaran Islamnya startingnya dari dari Bayan Ini udah dibangun dari abad ke-16 Seluruh bangunan ini terbuat dari bambu Jika ada acara kita kumpul semua di sini Acara maulid adat, idul fitri Ini nggak publik ya, no speaker, no loud It's only for the Bayan custom and culture hmm. Tapi sesuai dengan syariat Islam Kita nggak menyimpang. Ini kan budaya kan beda dengan agama. Agama tetap agama, budaya tetap budaya. So, Senar is definitely a must visit place in Lombok. It is a perfect starting point for hikers who want to go to Mount Rinjani. Although if you are not looking to hike, you shouldn't be discouraged to go there. Senado has so much to offer if you are looking to immerse yourself in the culture, as this is where the Sasak inhabitants as well as the Muslim religion first flourished in the island. And good sceneries is all around you, whether you're walking around, exploring on your scooter, or even staying in your guest house. We paid 500,000 for two people for a whole day of this guided tour, and that includes all these different points of interest, the information that the guide would give you, and also a homemade dinner. We were so satisfied with it. If you want to know more about the same trip we took, comment and we will be happy to inform you more about it. And now to the good part. We are ending our trip in Senaru with a really delicious looking dinner. We're back in our lodge, the Dragonfly, and Wika has this prepared for us. Some deep fried fish, rice, tempeh, and kalor. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> yeah. That's some darn good sambal. Oh, wow. Damn, the sambal's not from this earth. Jangan lupa subscribe, saya bakalan share the video also untuk banyak keren sih untuk mengenal alam budaya dan kulinernya juga wow oke okay, see you see ya <laughs> bye everyone <laughs>